what it do, my boy? It's your boy Wavy, man. Stay Wavy TV. Back at y'all with another one, man. Let's get it, man. Back at y'all with some boxing news, man. Let's talk about that boy Deontay Wilder, man. That Ron's bomber, man. The big bronze doctor. Let's talk about him. <laughs> Listen, man. To all of you LGBT niggas, uh, my bad, I mean you LDBC niggas, you know, Barbershop Conversations, Fred, uh, Boxing Ego, Champ Side, uh, Blue Blood, uh, Dante, uh, Aki TV, uh, Aki and Saltfish TV, nigga. Like, listen, man. You niggas gotta stop making excuses for Deontay Wilder, bruh. Stop. Stop that shit. Please. Y'all not making him look better by making these excuses i see all the videos you niggas are, po are, are, are posting about a 15 count and how the referee cheated and how um deontay water in all actuality won the fight no he didn't nigga he got his ass whooped y'all are not making deontay water look better by posting these videos bruh you know what you niggas are doing not only are you niggas making deontay water look soft you niggas are making the black race as a whole look soft because everybody already knows, man, black people are always complaining about some shit. Black people are always bringing up race and shit. You niggas are just adding on to the narrative that makes people look at us how they look at us, bro. Listen, man, he lost. It's over. He lost three times in a row. He's lucky the first fight ended up being a draw. But he lost. He got out. He got outboxed three times in a row that's a fact anybody that knows boxing knows this he got outboxed three times in a row period it's that simple and let me explain why you niggas need to stop making excuses for wilder see i noticed something about you ldbc niggas especially barbershop conversations right i see you bad mouth and i see you call out Al Heyman and Floyd Mayweather all the time. You always got something negative to say about Floyd Mayweather and Al Heyman. You even went as far as to talk about Floyd Mayweather's daughter, bruh. Why are you even speaking on that man's kids? Fred, if somebody made a video about Lincoln and said that he looked like a uh, 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 goddamn uh, young Dolph mixed with Jackie Chan, nigga, you'll be pissed, nigga. But you want to you wanna make a video speaking on Floyd Mayweather's daughter talking about oh how is Floyd Mayweather a billionaire and and his daughter is talking to NBA young boy Fred you should never be speaking on another man's kids bruh what the fuck does that have to do with you how does that affect your life how does that even affect you bruh Floyd's daughter is a young adult, bro. She could talk to whoever the fuck she want to talk to. If those are the kind of niggas that she like, it is what it is. Floyd Mayweather don't give a fuck. He's rich. He can't stop her from doing what she want to do anyway. I believe she's over 18 years old. She has a kid by the nigga. Why, why are you making videos about that? But like I was saying, though, see, you make videos talking bad about Floyd Mayweather when in all actuality see Deontay Wilder should have took notes from Floyd Mayweather because Floyd Mayweather in his entire boxing career never made excuses you know why he never made excuses because he won every single fight in his professional boxing career didn't make no excuses and see when Floyd Mayweather became the number one boxer in the world and he left the promotion company that he was with and started his own promotion company Mayweather Promotions you know what he did whenever he fought somebody and he gave them a big payday he set all the rules he picked the gloves they were going to use he picked the arena they were going to fight at he got a majority of the money he picked everything you had to go through VADA testing you couldn't you couldn't you couldn't try to cheat Floyd Mayweather made sure that whoever he fought they fought him on an even, an even playing field. You couldn't even think about cheating against Floyd Mayweather because you would get caught. Facts. When you look at his fight against Marcos Maidana, a lot of people believe Floyd Mayweather lost that first fight against Maidana. Floyd Mayweather believes that Maidana did something to his gloves, tempered his gloves. So you know what Floyd did? Floyd says, you know what? Since everybody thinks that Maidana beat me, I'm gonna give Maidana a rematch. 
But Madonna, check this out, bro. I believe you cheated. You can't use those same gloves used in the first fight. Madonna didn't want to listen to Floyd, so I said, you know what, Madonna, let me pick the gloves that you use. I'll pay you an extra $300,000. I'm going to make it back anyway. I'm going to make it back anyway. I'm going to give you an extra $300,000, bro. Let me pick the gloves that you use for the fight. So Madonna said, you know what? Okay, cool. Floyd Mayweather dominated Madonna in that second fight. After that fight, bro, you haven't heard from Marcos Madonna since, bro. He's been retired. He's over 300,000. He's over 300 pounds. Bro, if y'all seen a picture of Marcos Madonna, y'all wouldn't even recognize him. If you seen Marcos Madonna in person right now, you wouldn't even recognize that nigga. That's how much weight he's gained, nigga, after making all that money from Floyd Mayweather. Biggest payday of his career. So with that being said, man, if the referee cheated and did a long count in the first fight with Wilder and Fury, why the fuck would Wilder allow the same referee to come back and referee the third fight? See, during that arbitration, bro, see, Wilder, bro, you almost had two years out of the ring after the second, after, uh, the second fight. During that whole arbitration process, bro, you know what you should have did? You should have got your business right, bro. You should have said, you know what? This nigga cheated in the first fight. He cheated in the second fight. I got all this time off. I don't even know if we're going to fight again. Let me make sure if we fight again, let me make sure that I tell the commission, the WBC, whoever the commission is, let me make sure I tell Al Heyman to let these people know I want to pick the gloves. I want to pick the referee. And um, we're going to do body testing. If we can't do that, then we're not going to fight. I'm going to just move on. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just move on until they agree. And, you know, because they probably would have forced them to do it anyway because the arbitration, um, they, you know, they basically said, look, Tyson Fury, if you don't fight, well, if you don't fight Wilder, you have to retire. So that gave Wilder the upper hand. You feel me? That gave Wilder the upper hand to say, you know what? Let me set these rules. And if these guys can't do this, then I'm going to file a lawsuit or I'm going to just... I'm going to just wait till the arbitrate. You know what I'm saying? At least try, bro. That's what Mayweather did, bro. That's why, May That's why Mayweather went undefeated his whole career, bro. He had his business right, bro. Floyd Mayweather set the blueprint on how to dominate the sport of boxing, bro. Facts. So stop with these fucking excuses that y'all keep making for this nigga Wilder, bro. He lost. Period. He lost. So with that being said, man, let me know what you think about this video, man. It's your boy Wavy. I'm out.